All right, guys, welcome back. You guys are looking as cute as Spy Cutie, if I may say. And today we are going to be learning how to create a very simple window. Obviously, in future videos, we are going to be learning more advanced concepts, but every big thing starts with a very small thing. So let's create a very simple, small window today. So first of all, obviously, you need to install PyQt if you haven't already done. You just need to write pip install and PyQt5 and you can use whatever editor you want. I'm just using Visual Studio Code because it's free. So pip install PyQt5 and after that, I've already installed it. So I'm not going to install it again. So now we just need to import PyQt5 into our code. So we are just going to write from PyQt5 and then dot qt widgets. And inside that, we need a couple of things. So the first thing we need is queue application, which PyQt will use to create our app. And the second thing we need is our queue main window using which we are going to create a window, a very simple, simple window. And the second thing that this queue application needs is something known as a system. So we are going to import these libraries over here and then we are just going to create a method. Let's just call it main. And inside that we are going to create our application. So we are just going to create a variable called app. And then we need to add queue application to our code. So we are just going to call this queue application over here. And inside that, we are just going to write sys, that is the system dot argv. So what exactly is this parameter system dot argv, which queue application needs? So anytime you pass any kind of arguments using the command line Python, it basically you can transfer it to queue application using this system dot argv to make it a little bit more clear what I'm going to do. I'm just going to write pass so that it ignores all the code that I've written inside this function. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to print this out so that you guys can understand what it actually contains. So I'm just going to write argv over here and let's just run it and see what it gives us. So currently it gives us the location and the name of the file. So this is always the first parameter of system dot argv. And if we pass any other arguments, so for example, I'm just going to write Python main.py and we can pass other arguments over here. So the first argument is always going to be main.py. And after that, let's say we want to pass one, two, three and press enter. You can see that system.argv has passed or printed out more arguments over here. So this is basically what your application needs to create an app. So that's why we are passing that uh, inside our parameter. After that, we just need to create a Q main window using this Q main window. So let me just copy this and I'm just going to create another variable. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it window and let's just add Q main window to our code. After that, we just need to tell Q application or PyQt where do we want our window, the position and the width and height of our window. So we can basically set the geometry of our window. So we are just going to write window dot set geometry. And inside that, as you can see, it has four parameters, the X, the Y, the width and the height. So X is basically where do you want in the X axis. So imagine that the topmost top left corner is 0 comma 0 of the X and Y axis. And as we go towards the right and as you go towards downwards, the Y and the X increases and width and height is just in pixels. So what I'm going to do is because the top left corner of our screen is 0 comma 0. So I'm just going to put is as 0 and Y also as 0. And then the width, let's just put it as 300 and the height, let's also just make it a square 300. And now to show this window, what we are going to do, let's just remove this print argument from here. And to show this window, we're just going to write window dot show. It's pretty easy. And then we need to make sure that our window closes properly. So for that, we are again going to use the sys module. And inside that, we are just going to write sys dot exit. And inside that, we are also going to close our application. So we are just going to write execute. And let's call this main function outside our function over here. And let's run a program and see how our window looks. So if we run this, you can see it is on 0 comma 0 top left on our application. Our window starts over there and the width and the height is 300 comma 300. Let's say we want this to move a little bit towards the right hand side and a little bit towards downward. So what we can do is let's close this up. I'm just going to increase this to 100. I'm also going to increase this to let's say 200. And now let's run this again and you'll be able to see that the Y has become 200 and the X is still 100. So you basically you can the starting position of the window can be changed using this X and Y. Now we can also set the title of our window. So for example, I'm just going to write just do simple stuff. We can just do set window title and this should change the title of our window. So it's at the bottom. So let me just write something over here. Let's just say my first window. Congratulations, you have created your first PyQt window and it's over here. It's pretty simple, but yeah, it's our first window and I'm really proud of it. All right, guys, in the next video, we are going to learn how to add a label and some kind of a button inside our window. So I'm going to see you in the next video.